everyone. So I was tagged by Beauty and Stuff 18, I think that's her name. I'll put her link down below. You should definitely check her out. She's from New Zealand, just like I am. Um, I was tagged by her to do the 10 most... Wait. I keep saying most, but it's not. This is the 10 products I would repurchase tag. So I have a selection of things in front of me. For a couple of them, I have put two things in. I hope you don't mind me cheating. There's just like one thing. There's like another one that I couldn't live without. I don't know. You'll see what I mean. So the first thing is one of the cheating ones, but the two Naked palettes by Urban Decay. You can get these off beautybay.com, I think. These are just like the most versatile palettes for me because, you know, everyday use you just want natural makeup or neutral makeup and they just have all these really pretty shades and they're super pigmented blendable beautiful and there's like every color you'd need for an everyday look and here's the original naked palette i love them both i think if i had to choose one people always ask me <laughs> maybe i would choose the naked 2 palette just because it has a matte highlight shade and a shimmery highlight shade and the other one only has a shimmery one so I love, 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 love these palettes. Also, the Naked 2 palette has better packaging, I reckon. It's not like you're going to need to repurchase these often, but I'm just saying, like, if one of these broke or if, like, I run out of a few colors out of them, I would definitely repurchase. The second one is a cheat also. I kind of categorized them under one thing. Um, I cannot live without. I will forever repurchase my MAC Studio Fix Fluid well, until I find something better, but at the moment, I've been repurchasing this. I've repurchased it one time because it lasts me forever months and months but this is the studio fix fluid and i'm an nc20 and i just love the way it applies and it looks really nice and it matches me really really well and i just really like it i like it slightly more than the revlon color stay these days and then cheating sneaking and extra object in here product in here this is the studio fix powder and this one here is in c2 but i also suit the nc20 um but i just really like this powder and it lasts me a really long time it's very expensive but it's I don't know, it's not as powdery, so I don't go through it as quickly. It's also got really, really good coverage, so if I don't feel like wearing liquid foundation, I can just chuck this on top of like a BB cream or something like that, and it works really, really great. So I cheated again. <laughs> um, my oils. Oh my god, these aren't makeup. Skincare, I suppose you'd call these. Um, this is the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil, and then this is the Jojoba just jojoba oil and I love these I use this one here more for like my nails cuticles and on dry patches of skin and also after I moisturize my skin I'll put a little bit of this just over my skin it's kind of like really moisturizing and it makes my skin look really really nice and like healthy shiny you know what I mean and you can re remove your makeup and stuff with this and I just love it and it's made my nails grow so fast and strong and healthy and then the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil I love using this on my face it gets rid of my acne scarring quicker and it makes my face really moisturized and it like feels really nice on my skin like I rub this over dry patches on my skin also and scars on my feet and stretch marks and stuff like that I just really love this and I'm definitely gonna have to repurchase this sometime soon because I've already gone through half of it and luckily I have a couple of backups of this but if I ever run out I'll definitely get some more my favorite lipstick I had to mention that I'll always repurchase so long as I can get it this is the MAC lipstick in Saint Germain it's my favorite MAC lipstick and it's just a bright Barbie pink I'm not wearing it today but you've seen me wear this in tons of videos it's just my favorite pink I can't get enough of it and I've gone through a couple of these already and it's just the bomb I wanted to chuck in a perfume um this is my Katy Perry meow I think meow perfume I got this not that long ago and I've already used like tons of it and I have tons of perfume so I don't wear this every single day but it's my favorite perfume and as soon as I run out of this I'm gonna go buy myself a really big bottle of it because I cannot get enough of the smell it smells like candy it's almost like a Britney Spears kind of fragrance like that real sweet candy kind of um, fragrance mixed in with like Jimmy Choo or Victor and Rolf or something like that like it's just so good so delicious and if you have never smelled it you need to go smell it and I love Katy Perry so there you go. I repurchased this twice already and will keep repurchasing it because it's my favorite lip balm. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips. This is what it looks like in New Zealand and this one's in, I think, oh no, this is the orange one. And I've also tried the mango one and the berry one and I think I had the mango one twice. But it's so moisturizing and here in New Zealand our ozone layer is jacked up so we get sunburnt all year round really, really easily and my lips get really, really easily burnt. Windburnt, sunburnt, 
chapped everything and this protects them so 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 well I love it and it's so moisturizing and a lot of other lip balms actually dry out my lips but this one just is awesome next is something I've already repurchased a few times also my elf eyebrow kit I've been using this for ages now um, this one's an ash and this is what I use now that I'm blonde it's just a light color I usually just use the side which is like a wax and it just holds down my eyebrows and fills them in and makes them a really nice color like it matches my hair perfectly I reckon because it's nice to have your eyebrows a couple shades darker if you're a blonde and it also kind of matches my regrowth which I think looks really really nice and put together and it's just an awesome consistency it's really cheap I just really enjoy this of course I can't go a video without mentioning my Leo Ali triple the solution BB cream I love this I've run this is my second tube of it I just love it it's like the best primer it's awesome to use by itself when I can't be bothered doing makeup it's moisturizing it helps even my skin tone it's got SPF like it's just everything Thing. I don't know like over summer especially this is gonna be a lifesaver whenever I go to the beach I'll just wear this on my face for my SPF and it gives me a little bit of coverage so hopefully it means I won't get so many freckles and then of course BB creams are usually whitening which means it'll get rid of the sunspots if I do get any so love this my last cheat I decided to put these as one because they're both eyeliners but my pencil eyeliner I've brought so many of these but this is the Revlon color stay black eyeliner and you guys know that I've been using this forever and I've gone through so many of these and I just love it it's like perfect it's so pigmented it goes on my waterline really really nice and pigmented and it lasts all day and it doesn't smudge down under my eyes or anything I just love it it works perfectly for me so this is my favorite pencil one and then the liquid one that I've been loving lately I'm definitely gonna buy some more backups this is the NYX collection noir black eyeliner liquid eyeliner and it's really really nice and it has a nice long like brush kind of applicator it's really easy to apply it goes on really black it doesn't crease and it doesn't fade and it's easy to wash off but doesn't smudge or anything like that it's just awesome and it's cheap I compare it to like the L'Oreal linear intense and just things like that like it's so good I love it and then the last thing I'm gonna mention I'm not sure we can buy this anymore I got mine off all because it's wholesale ages ago but this is the derma blend cover cream and it's my favorite under eye concealer and this is in rose beige and it's slightly pink so it counteracts my dark under eye circles because I have yellow undertones and it's just nice and creamy it's thick but it doesn't crease and it covers like amazing like it's so high coverage and I just love it so that's all for this tag I hope you guys found it helpful in some way and maybe found something you'd like to try out and I want you guys to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your number one beauty product at the moment is like whether it's skincare hair care makeup or anything just what your favorite product at the moment is and you cannot live without it and you will repurchase it as soon as it runs out if you want to do this tag I tag you and I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in a couple of days bye